Hi friends, welcome to my course which is Theory of Rectangular Plates Part 1. In this course, we will develop or learn the state of art that how to analyze the rectangular plates based on classical plate theory or shear deformation theories. Generally, the topics covered in this course are not covered at the undergraduate levels or postgraduate levels in the strength of material course. So, this course is basically to analyze the composite plates or and the advanced material plates generally used in aerospace structures or civil structures. So, during this course, the first I will explain the basic governing equations required for that and in the second part, I will apply the variational of principle. So, using the variational of principle which is a principle based on the minimum potential energy used to develop set of governing differential equation and then we will solve those governing differential equation analytically. Basically, I will solve using the Navier type approach then the Levy type approach. Further, we will do some dynamic analysis and buckling analysis. So, during this entire course, it will help you that how to develop a solution for a rectangular plate made of isotropic material as well as I will give you some exposure that for composite plate or advanced materials like piezoelectric materials or some functionally graded materials. So, while attending this course, you will learn the technique if material changes, so what will be the changes in the governing equations that I will expose to you during this courses. Further, this course helps you to simulate using the famous uh, analysis packages like Abacus or ANSYS. During this course, we will also record one tutorial in which our students helps you to find out that how to do a static analysis or a dynamic analysis of a composite plate in the abacus. This uh, is the requirement like whenever person is doing in engineering mechanics or the continuum structures, they are required to do some static analysis, bending analysis or later on that can be extended to the continuous plate or a plate with hole or some different kind of geometries. Who can attend this course? The final year graduate students, postgraduate engineering students, basically mechanic students from the mechanical engineering, aerospace departments and civil engineering. All these students at some point of time during their research or during their project, they use this kind of analysis that analysis of a plate or a structure. The main concept is that you take any engineering structure. So, any engineering structures can be made up of a elements of beams, plates and cells. So, you can disintegrate that whole structure into three basic elements beam, plate and shell. If we can able to identify the behavior or if we can understand the behavior of a beam or a plate or a shell, then definitely the behavior of that whole structure can be analyzed.